Martin, very keen to get your take on this. Is there a fine line between players taking responsibility versus player power? Where is the balance? Now, Martin, before you come in on this, really want you to listen to John Obi mckell who joined us last week, former Chelsea midfielder, hugely popular player and very popular guest on this show, I have to say as well. And he spoke quite openly and candidly, Martin, about how the Chelsea players ran the dressing room. On the pitch, you know, JT was the man. Uh, and sometimes as well, when this, you know, the dressing room is not together, he was the guy that always brought us together. On the pitch, of the pitch, you know, he was he 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 was the leader, and like you've just said, there's too many players here with with big egos, the likes of DJ Drogba, Frank Lampard, Peter Cech, Ashley Cole. You know, everybody has their own opinion. Uh, mm. If you wanted someone out. The players could get that someone out. <laughs> Is that right? That's I mean, the same I, everywhere. You did not. You were not having Rafa Benitez, were you? No, we were not. We made that clear. I think. I think obviously, probably from his time at Liverpool. Mm. Uh, obviously, Liverpool was a big rival, uh, rivalry for us. But coming into the club as well, I think the fans also didn't like Rafa. And same as well with the players. We didn't really accept him as one of us. Yeah. Then he had the team with JT, you know, where JT got dropped. Uh, JT wasn't playing as much that, as much as he wanted because obviously JT was always playing. And Rafa comes, he was like, okay, you're not going to play every game. You know, we had the power. We had the power. I think, I think JT, Frank, uh, DDA, DDA was very opinion. DDA had a lot of voice in the dressing room. When they feel like, okay, this manager is not giving the players what we want. And we're not playing as much as we want. We're not enjoying ourselves the way we want to enjoy ourselves. <laughs> he's gone. You know, we'll come together. We'll, you know, try to, you know, figure out a way whereby, you know, <laughs> we'll get someone in that we want. And, and was Abramovich aware that you guys were virtually running it? Yeah. Yeah, he knew that. But at the end of the day, he wanted us to be happy as well. Because at the end of the day, the football players, the players are the most important people in the club. Martin O'Neill is sitting... You, you look quite bemused to what you were listening to there, Martin. Have you ever been close to that in your managerial experience? Well, first of all, I'm dumbfounded by that. Really am, you know, sitting there um, doing an interview, laughing there about, uh, you know, getting rid of managers. His job is to play, regardless of whether you like the manager or not, is to play. Obviously, big egos at, at Chelsea. I've, I've been in football clubs where the players that I brought in into a football club eventually became, had big egos because we were winning football games. It's your job as a manager to be able to deal with that. But my point, point is this here, that suddenly you don't like a manager coming into a football club. It was a poor appointment in the first place anyway because it was never going to work. I'm talking about Rafa Benitez coming into Chelsea. But even so, there's someone there actually saying our, our job was really to get it out and someone didn't play a couple of games. Therefore, you know, let, 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 it, let us have a, a power game. Players have too much power, and that, uh, that's a proof of that. There, so that game has changed completely since I was playing. We didn't have any power at all, and we felt that that was unfair, and it was. And now players have all the power, or the or the agents have all the power with with the players, and therefore it's a, a complete um, a complete change, a complete landscape change in many aspects. But man, having somewhere, said that, somewhere along, Mikel and Chelsea let, won everything. Just let me finish. It worked just for let them. Me I don't know whether did they won everything under Benitez that little spell. He wasn't there that long. But as a group, or, or they won everything. Yeah, yeah, well, as a as a group, well, they they change managers every every right. every every week. I think at the end of the day, so somewhere along the way, you know, I'll play for a manager for a fortnight because he'll be here, he'll be gone in three weeks. And they did have some really great managers as well. To Jose Mourinho's uh, spell was a terrific manager. So what I'm trying to say to you is this here: that you're talking about player power. You're talking about you're talking about somebody openly talking about, it, and that's fine. Okay, he's gone. He's, he's he's out of the game now, and he's saying saying these particular things. It's a disappointment to me. You don't have to like the manager all the time. You don't. I am. I did. There's lots of players I didn't like, and then but you've got to try and get them to play for you. There was this idea that there was player power, to getting back to your point, player power at Nottingham Forest. And please when, do me when a, you were there. Please do me a favour. I was there for I was there for nineteen games at the end of do me a favour. Player power at Nottingham Forest. There wasn't a player strong enough or the personality enough to 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 uh, to usurp me. And believe it or not, honestly, it was just ridiculous, you know, to talk about it. It, it you know what it is. But did they there, get did they get you there out was in the one, end? No, no, players didn't get me out in the end. There was two, two, I believe there was a couple of players, nondescript players, who sent their agents up to talk to the uh, talk to the CEO. 
bigger fool him to listen to them if that's the case. I want to run the football club the way I want to run it. If it's not the way that Maranakis wants me to run the football club, that's fine. But please don't give me this here about player power. It was a, it was a nice little narrative for the local journalists and things that you here and another, a couple of other boys who latched on to this particular thing. Player power. If I, it, seriously, if Henrik Larsson or Chris Sutton or, or Neil Lennon come up and said, we don't like the way you're dealing with things, you know what? I'd dismiss them, but I might even think about it. But when I've got a crowd of nondescripts at Nottingham Forest come up and saying we don't like the way you're doing it, please, give me a break. Honestly, enough of this self-effacement. I, if I'd been there long enough at the football club, I got off to a worse start at Leicester City than I did to Nottingham Forest. A worse start. And, I was, I, and the chances are I was probably a better manager at Nottingham Forest at the end of the day. got 19 mm. games. And I, so, yeah, you keep saying it. But am you, I you, bitter about it? Absolutely, I am. But this idea about player power, please do me a favour. But you do concede, though, Martin, that a couple of them went behind your back at Forest, went so to the I CEO hear, so and I said, hear, yeah. listen, we're yeah, not having yeah. Martin and Neil. Yeah, they were really good players, those lads, who have done fantastically since. All three of them have signed for Real Madrid. Nonsense, absolute nonsense. They're playing. When non- you get they're playing that, non-league football now at this minute. Did you it's, go after them when you got? I didn't that? know about it. I didn't know about it at the time. Player power. It was thrown to me about a week after I'd left the football club. Player power. Give me a break, man. On seriously, I tell, you know, as I said to you, nondescript players talking about it. You know, there was this idea. We had a player there that uh, that Maranac has paid supposedly fifteen million pounds for a lad called Cavallio. Nice little footballer, get you the sack, and then so he he played a, he played a number of games. Played one really good game for us, and the rest of them was pretty poor. But the crowd had taken to him because his name actually to sound Carvalho. You could actually get a ring of it, you know, Carvalho playing. <laughs> I'd like to know where Carvalho is now. He's playing. He's he's back at he's at uh, Olympiacos General Sub. He's been out and. Two or three, uh, two or three clubs out in loan at uh, Al- Almeria, places like this here. At the end of the day, sorry, I don't, I don't get it. I don't really don't get it. Player power, as I said to you, if some big players that I brought through or something like this here had said to me, we're not widely sure about your manager. So you're not having care value. It, do you concede, though, Martin, that in your managerial career you did fall out with certain players, and that in itself was a risky business? Folly. I do you know what I didn't mind confrontation is part of my game and that's this is, I, I enjoyed confrontation other managers don't they sh- might shirk away from it I enjoyed confrontation but let me put it this way I give praise and criticism out in equal measure if somebody's praised I tell you I praise them to the high heavens at the end of the day and all the players all the players you'll talk about this praise them to the high heavens because they're winning football games for me which is my uh, and if players are not doing it I'm sorry they're going to have to take the criticism and you know what the interesting thing about all of this here is that the players remarkably what will be uh, uh, Mikel says players do still want some discipline they want a leader in the football club and if you're strong enough to be that leader then well do if, if you're not strong enough then players will rip you apart is is what Danny Mills said about you you played under you at Norwich does this have any truth in it he said that life under Martin and he was a case of Marmite he either loved you or hated you that, 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 actually, I give Danny his debut uh, when he was 18 years of age. He played the opening game against Luton Town. He, and Danny ended up having a really good career. Mm. Didn't do well that day. But uh, uh, actually give away a penalty, although we beat Luton 3-1. But what I'm saying is, is that... <laughs> um, I, no, he did. No, uh, Danny was terrific. But uh, no, this, this sort of thing about Marmite, again, there were some players there that I thought should do better at the football club. I just arrived at, at, uh, at uh, Norwich City at the time. But this idea that I would... There, yes, there's players that, that I loved for a week and, and, and didn't like for a fortnight at the end of the day. <laughs> but they all came back. Once those players were doing well, I, I was all over them. I'm telling you, they could do no absolutely no, no wrong. You had to win the games, first of all, and then we'll, t- we'll, we'll take it after that. But this idea that I was falling out with everybody, I didn't. But Celtic players, I, I would, yes, I would have arguments with the very, very best of players. No problem with that there. But I, hopefully I could deal with it. Oh, please, but nothing take. ever became irreparable with you between yourself and a player. You never fall out, and that that was it. It's done. Uh, uh, oh, split, oh, oh. The, the point it, only that it would split only, the dressing oh, room. Yeah, only if the player was no good to me at the end of the day. Only if he was no good, and there was no way back. But chances are, to be fair, I always allowed a way back for a player, probably as much selfishly for myself because I might need that player again somewhere. But uh, no, I, I, I'm 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 not having this player for Nottingham Forest. 
Okay. Martin O'Neill in fine form on Talk Sport. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.